Welcome to the Atmosphere Pool on the MSC Maravilla in November of 2022. Hey everyone, I'm Patrick from Oakland Travel and nobody's here at the pool deck. <laughs> it's uh, around lunchtime. Everybody is pretty much off on the island. We're at the MSC Ocean K Marine Reserve and you notice there on the big screen that it says dance class and there's literally an instructor over there who's <laughs> for lack of a better phrase, he's going through the motions. He's literally up there kind of doing a little dancing. Uh, there's a, you know, you see one or two other people here kind of in the crowd, just sort of listening and watching. But he was essentially teaching no one, but he was there. He was conducting his class. He just didn't have anybody really there to, to you know, to do the class for. And I mentioned earlier that uh, lunchtime right here at this moment in the video, it's about 1145. They're just about to open up for lunch. And so uh, I was kind of in there just ready to grab some food uh, by myself on this cruise, a uh, solo passenger, which I'd never done before. It was kind of an interesting experience. So plenty and plenty of time to just really uh, record a lot of video about this ship and really take in the layout and the design of the Mervilia. And one of the interesting things, at least for me personally, was this whole uh, setup of the buffet, the way it was designed. Because as you see this little corridor that I'm walking through right here, it's not very wide. And it doesn't look like much when there's nobody in here. Um, doesn't look like it's a problem, so to speak, right? But if you see it during breakfast time, it's a whole different story. Because when it's really crowded for breakfast, there's not a lot of room there to maneuver because everybody is essentially in single file lines as they're waiting for food and you get bottlenecks on both sides of the buffet. Now this area right here is across the back. So on the left side of the screen is the back of the ship. And of course, right there, you're looking kind of at the front of the ship. So this is the entire back part of the buffet. It's nice and big, plenty of room back here. Uh, different times, depending on breakfast, lunch, dinner, you know, what they set up back here. You see right there an egg station as we were walking by. So they use that, of course, for breakfast. But when you get along the sides of the buffet, there's not a lot of room there. And when it's really crowded, and there are a lot of people in here eating for one of the main, you know, seatings. Uh, you know, breakfast is a really good example. It gets crowded. And you see all these tables through here. Uh, these fill up pretty quickly. But you have a very nice seating area back here. And I noticed over the course of the cruise that a lot of people would, you know, grab their food and come back out here and sit. You know, got the beautiful weight view and everything. Uh, directly up above where I'm at right here is the Horizon Pool and that whole area. And there's a set of stairs on either side where you can go from this little deck area here right up to the Horizon Pool. See, there they are. There's the steps right there. So the buffet is, um, it's nice. It's big. It takes up the entire back of the ship. Uh, with all of the sort of the food preparation kind of in the center. And so when you first walk in to the buffet from the pool area, you know, you have to go either around to the right or around to the left. Uh, but it does get a little sticky in there because it's not very wide. And so if you go for like a, a breakfast or a lunch time where a lot of people are in there, it's a little hard to maneuver. But uh, the food was excellent. I did notice a little bit of a Mediterranean slant on the food, but you know, MSC is an Italian cruise line. And so that's probably to be expected. But overall, I uh, had a great time on the cruise. And like I said, the food was really good. There were a couple of things uh, about the way they served the food that sometimes were a little interesting, especially for breakfast. I only saw like a couple of places where scrambled eggs were located, which seemed like they needed to be, have more than the, the ones that I saw. But uh, quite a variety of the food that was offered at each of the different seatings. So here we are kind of coming up the other side of the buffet now. And so like I said, this was right before they were about to serve lunch.